SEMA week. This is SEMA week. We got both cars ready. You're going to see the progression of the cars. You actually saw the, at the beginning there, you saw the Durango run, but uh, both cars got picked up yesterday. We got 1.0 in here, making some updates to it, changes or whatever to put it away for the winter. Mostly we got to get the wheels off, get them onto Aiden's car because they were on here for that. But uh, we're going to take you through Durango, getting that nitro motor in the Durango. Uh, take you through 2.0, getting it running, driving, and onto the trailer on its way to SEMA. So that one with Pilot, we delivered Drango over to Penske yesterday. So that's going in the Dodge booth. So at SEMA, uh, Drango will be in the Dodge booth with the Nitro Hemi in it. Uh, maybe that's the way we should keep it. Don't know, you tell us. And 2.0 will be in the Gear Vendors booth. We got 1.0, like I said, getting some stuff done on there. But Kurt Chaos, like I guess, here you go, sick week's coming up in February, so that's going uh, that's going crazy, huge wait list in there. Sick Ward, you can still get into that. If you go to sickthemag.com, you can get into Sick Ward. Uh, there's also spectator tickets available. That's going to be crazy. Like, I've seen the entry list, like, literally, like, I don't know of one, I don't know of one car that is missing from the fastest drag and drive cars or whatever in the country. So, like, actually in the world, because there's so many Australians, UK, Swedes, like, I mean, everybody's going to be there. And we do have some new merch drop, and that's going to be for your international guys. So keep an eye on that stuff. Not out. I shouldn't even told you, but whatever. So that stuff's coming. But uh, we also have Cart Chaos. So at PRI, we actually rented a go-kart track. So we're going to do Cart Chaos is what it's going to be called. And we're going to do teams. Teams of four. We're going to do switch outs. We're working on the final rules. But there is an expression of interest on the website. If you're interested in Cart Chaos, it's a team entry. Uh, any sponsors of Sick Week automatically get a team into it. Not sure how many teams we're allowed to have yet. We got to talk to the cart place, but we do have it rented. Uh, that's going to be during PRI. So if you're interested in putting a team together and making that happen, uh, cart chaos is coming. Uh, what else we got? Six summer is a go. Uh, final details that'll go on sale. We're expecting December first, probably. Um, Death Week. I can't believe the interest in Death Week. So we are working on all the details. Death Week. I, I will tell you it's 90% to go. We just have to organize some final details with it. But uh, so we do have those events coming up and we actually are working on six kids for August. So had a meeting with them one the other day. So like that's probably a go. We are really trying to get the entire schedule for the year together and get it out to everyone so that hey, you can plan your year around doing a lot of the cool stuff, the drag and drive stuff that you want to do. New magazine is coming out. So you actually only have a few days because right now, if you subscribe to the magazine, you're going to get the current issue. And then you'll also get the new issue when it ships in early November. So basically you're getting two for the price of one. That issue is the craziest issue because that has more events than we've ever covered in one magazine ever. It's got, uh, what's it got? It's got uh, Race Week 2.0. It's got Drag Week. It's got... Uh, Swedish the street week it's got the Australia I mean I don't even know like there's like six events in there I previewed it a couple weeks ago gonna be awesome over 200 pages just a couple ads in it so do for the price of one deal I know you guys say these interests are a bunch of ads and me talking about stuff but literally that's what we got to talk about we got to talk about all the stuff that's happening and all the stuff you can be part of so but we will take you through like i said 1.0 we drove that over here yesterday so we got some video of that we got the durango we've got uh i mean progress being made on aiden's car that'll be updated in later video um sema but if you're going to be at sema come see me i'll be between the gear vendor booth the dodge booth and uh that's what we got and then like I said, PRI coming in another month. So here you go. Enjoy everything else in the video. Are you recording? Yes. All right. We are at DMPE. So Darren shop with Jack, picking up Nitro Motor. Well, what was it running on when it was in the dyno? It was running on methanol in the dyno. Methanol. It was running on methanol, but hey, this is a Nitro Motor. So because once we get our another stop today, then it's already got the... Uh, dual distributor drive on it. So it'll have two sets of wires, two sets of plugs. Like it'll be as close to nitro as we can get uh, to get it in the Durango and head it out to SEMA. So now we got to see if it'll fit in the van and how hard we'll have to push. Hopefully not too hard. <laughs> and then we'll take a look at Jack's car because you already recorded that, right? Yeah. And then we'll take a look at Jack's new car that he's going to turn into a drag and drive car. He said it's going to be ready for sick week. So three months. That'll be ready. Of course. Ready, we'll make tested, ready we'll make to go. Ready for so, that. but so uh, we'll see. That might be lofty goals, but maybe six summer. We can make it for that. So, 
Thank you. That's our check-in. Alright. I'm excited about it. We got, we've had it about a month now. Uh, Paletta has the short block. They're putting sleeves in it, so when it's back, I'm going to put it together and try and make some passes in the springtime with it. Gotcha. Now, where's the radiator and stuff going to go? I don't know. We haven't made it that far yet. We'll put it right in front of the fuel cell. We'll move the fuel cell to the back. Thanks, Jack. Thank you. So, see you soon. See ya. Car should be running next time when we bring this back. Yeah, we'll have a radiator in it. We'll have it make some passes and we can run it up and down the road here. And Sweet. That would be perfect. So, awesome. Cool. Thanks. Good to see ya. Whoa. Uh, your turbo blew up. Did it? Yeah. It just backfired through it? Yeah. Pretty cool looking. Through the cold side. Can be can 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 be off too. Do they not fire it up at Steve's at all? How are they gonna fire it when it's not all there? And an old engine there. Do get they the, not have coils? Get the timing light. There's well, time. Let's, let's bump it over and uh, see where the cam sinks at. Go ahead and cut that up. All right, so we got 2.0 back together, trying to get ready for SEMA. So working on fire up, and it always seems like every time when put in first, there's always something that seems off, but it was backfiring, so we don't know. We're going to, whatever, try and sort that out so we can get this thing fired because Monday it's got to go in the trailer. But, uh, or Monday it's got to get picked up to head SEMA direction. So um, that's the task. First task, get back together. Second task is actually get the damn thing to run. So, but. The other is this is only one half of the equation because we also have to have the Durango ready to go. So, but this is the, yeah, this is the most important currently. That's also most important, but right now, this minute, this is most important. Just get it to run. And then we got final clean it, get it ready to go, but that's what we got. Monday, Bobby. Like, you don't have multiple Mondays to work. There, took it right off. Oh, Bobby, these are going to be sweet. These things are going to be wrapped in the sick logo. Are they done yet? Oh, fucking almost done. And then they're going to It's sleep. almost done. <laughs> Is it going to be heavy that way? Should we blow it? Should we slide this back a little bit or no? Push it my way to the passenger side.
Should have rolled the thing over and done it with the crane. Huh. I see our first problem. What's up? That oil pump. See the next problem? Missing a couple of them. It'll be there. It'll just Man, be you and Pat will be able to hang out. It'll be flatter than it was before. Yeah, Bobby. Look at this. Just in case we wreck one. Yep. Burn it up on that. Burn it up. Oh, 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 yeah, Bobby. If we move those studs that inch forward, I mean, I know it's going to mess with some of the pulley showing. But the belt has an inch to slide back. Maybe. Where are you going? I don't know. Just give it to me and you lift the front up. You got it? Shield too, right? Service. It's pretty handy. Good. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm done. What do you think? It looks good. Cool. And you know it's going to be in there. <laughs> Ditch that other deal and. What now? So, that's that equation over there with 2.0. The Durango is further away from starting. But, did change it up because Bobby spent so much time working on the chassis and we're like, well, it's going to really suck if we just put a little motor in there. So, like, we got to put a big motor in. So, we made some calls. Uh, Darren X came through. We spoke to almost every top fuel team. So, one in the future I'll tell you about. They weren't as, uh, most of them were very friendly and did everything they could to get us stuff. So, one of them had exactly what we needed and wouldn't provide it to us to borrow it, uh, to send it to SEMA. Uh, so, we then pieced together through other teams and got everything together. But we do have our dual. Dual mag nitro setup. We're waiting for there's some valve covers on there now, but we've got some other valve covers coming, so we can go to two plugs per cylinder and uh, basically have this thing ready to run nitro. So uh, 426 Hemi. So that's the that's the big dog with a top fuel blower on it, and uh, it looks good in there. That's what they got to say. Bobby's working on uh, Bobby's working on some brakes. Uh, for it that maybe the brake pedal will work like when uh, when it goes to SEMA. It's going to work in it's about 15 minutes. 15 minutes it's going to work. Yeah. So it's only Friday night. Everything's got it. Uh, this has to be to to the spot where the truck's picking it up by Monday morning. Uh, Monday morning 2.0 gets picked up from here. So nothing like last minute to slam some stuff together. And but. Obviously, this is a work in progress. It just keeps going further, and then we take a step back to put a nitro motor in it. But um, all good. It just looks awesome in there, though. So if you're at SEMA, you definitely want to check this out because it's pretty cool. So. Hey, bump it again, Tom. Watch for you. Okay, hold it. So there's 250, 240. So we need to, and this is just the pressure leverage down to it. Right. But yeah, yeah, if we just want to type in the numbers, I'm fine with that. Yeah. So neither one of us has done this before, so do some number typing.
Yeah, it's because it's all the way out of oil. Monday morning. Pilots here picking up uh, picking up 2.0. We'll get that loaded in the trailer and then it's on its way to uh, then it's on its way to Vegas. He's got some other pilots to pick up and then uh, I fly out I fly out Sunday to Vegas. My boy's wedding Saturday, fly out Sunday, and then the car gets dropped off and I'll drive it in to see him on Monday. So this is kind of one of those nice uh, no must, no must, no fuss. Like he takes care of all the driving part of it, and then just get there. And then after we get this done, we gotta get the Durango loaded up and get the Durango over to Penske because Penske's taking the Durango. The pilot's been using my stuff. Brian's actually transported this car multiple times for uh, power tour, different events like that. So, um, so it's pretty cool. Brian knows what he's doing. So, except Brian, are you the one that messed up the front end on this once? No? All right. Not me. It was somebody that had pressure on the ramp and pulled it off. Who was it? It was a power tour. It wasn't yeah. Brian. It was, it was somebody else. But. <laughs> they had a flat tire one time and it rode on the rocker panel on the way back from SEMA on me one time. Oh, gotcha. So I had to air the tire up and get it off the rocker panel. Yeah, I remember that. And then I know one time I was in that power tour or whatever, and they're like, oh, we had an oops, there was still pressure on the ramp and then pulled it off. And then it flipped up onto the front end. So. Oh yeah, no, that that, that was, wasn't me. Must have been a rookie driver. Well, must have been. So. <laughs> I was a rookie at one point. <laughs> minute touches on the Durango before we uh, before we load it up and get it over to get shipped out to SEMA so Bobby's uh, Bobby's got some last minute things he's doing to get the fire bottles mounted like so this thing's ready to run we're gonna have to run it in Vegas this weekend so NHRA deal right we're gonna run it this weekend Mine. it's getting shipped out there Bobby's gonna make the fuel tank for it I'm gonna bring it with me as a carry-on We'll get it mounted in there, ready to go. I'll make the top hinge open so you can close in it. Oh, there you go. Yep, just throw it up. <laughs> you can't push up there. Watch the wheel. Can you see him? I can. Come my way, Jenna. Brakes. Right. Just double check. Are we clearing? Yep. Yeah, plenty of room on this side. Hang on. Let up, Jenna. Yeah. 
atmosphere breaks. Nope. If they're that fragile, I did my job wrong. <laughs> you screwed up though. You normally always wear a dress when we have to have it. You're, you're not wrong, almost <laughs> always. Drango's loaded up, get it over to Dodge so that then it can ship out to SEMA. Yeah, but I figured I'd get in and then can hit the brakes. I got it. In Penske dropping off the Durango, but there's these two Fiat Spiders that uh, Hoonigans had that have been sitting here. So, see if we can work our magic and maybe we can use these for something. Um, first, we have to get an okay to take them with us to get them out of here, but that okay is not coming today. So, that'll be some return trip. We so got this one and that one. All right, we're over at M1. Uh, grabbing 1.0, we got to take 1.0. Other two cars got dropped off and 1.0 still needs its rear hubs and tires are off Aiden's car that they're getting working on putting back together. So it's got to get swapped back because these are five on fives. This normally runs five on four seven fives. So got to swap it back out, put the other tires back on it so that Aiden's car can go back together. And uh, we had these tires on it for roadkill. So beautiful day, 70 degrees in uh, late October in Michigan. You can't beat it. And uh, drive back over to the shop. So. What we got?